Hey y'all and welcome back. It is time for another Will I Buy It? Talking about new makeup releases where I sit down and I pick out 10 releases from the past week and I share with you that my top five and bottom five. Now typically my bottom five tends to be like, oh my goodness, I really don't get this release. It's not for me. But honestly this week, I feel like just about all 10 releases that we're gonna talk about I like in some respect, but I did pick it for the bottom five just because there's aspects I like about it or whatnot, but it's easier for me to say no so I can put it in my bottom five. I mean, there were so many good releases when it came to indie makeup and I was just so excited about so many of them. So yeah, this will I buy. We're gonna talk about 10 and I'm going to put 10 in the bottom, but please hear me now. It's just bottom for me personally. There's a lot of aspects still about the product that I do like. So we'll go over it during the video, but I just had to say that disclaimer up front. It's a great time for any makeup. Honestly, they're coming out with so many amazing releases. So let's cut the chit chat and jump right in to talking about the new releases that caught my eye from this past week and whether I plan to purchase them and feature them or not. Okay, diving right in, let's talk about what's in my bottom five. So the first one I put for my bottom five from this past week is still a great launch, just not for me personally, but this is coming from Adept Cosmetics and they are bringing back an older palette that they launched, I honestly can't remember when, but it's called the Amunit, um, Amunit, Amunit. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it. I'm so sorry. Let me know down below in the comments how to pronounce that correctly. But they are bringing this palette back with a new look and they are once again bringing it back with a light and dark version, which I do think is a really neat aspect that some indie brands do. But I wanted to show you guys the swatches. The swatches look so beautiful. Adept Cosmetics does have a lot of really pretty uh, special shadows when it comes to like the sparkle, the shift, everything about it. Very nice. And their mattes are very nice to work with as well. Let's see. I think this is the light version and then, the, and then this is the dark version. And then right here you can see this is the new version of the light and then the old version of the light. And the same on this side, new version of the dark and the old version of the dark. If you were curious, maybe you missed out on this launch back when they originally had it or you do have that palette, you're able to see them side by side to compare and see if you need the new palette or not. But I do appreciate the changes that they made. I would, my eyes went to the dark just because it's more saturated, more color. You guys know I like really dark and saturated looks. So I was looking at the, the changes they made for the dark one. I think there are a lot of really great positive changes. They put more special shadows, it looks like, the more shifty type of shadows. And overall, I think it's just a really pretty color story and I will definitely be looking forward to the looks that people do with this palette. I, however, don't plan to pick it up just because it's a little light on the mattes, it's very heavy on the special shadows, and depending with the Depth Cosmetics, their special shadows, as I said, are very pretty, but some of them are not my favorite to work with. I like their multi crumbs. I can definitely say that, but they're more like intense, like wet looking shadows that are a bit chunky here aren't exactly my favorite, but these look absolutely beautiful. I'm sure everyone's going to really enjoy this palette. I'm sure it's going to do very well when it comes to Adept Cosmetics and their launches. They always do really well, so had to feature it. It's going in my bottom five though, just because, you know, the color story doesn't hit it for me. Okay, top five. We're going to talk about this uh, new palette from Clarity Cosmetics. She launched this like hours after, or not launched it, but she showed the full palette like hours after I finished recording last week's Will I Buy It? So I've been looking forward to talking to y'all about this palette, but look at this beautiful color story. I really like it for the color story. I, it's a very pretty mix of pinks and peach and green and the types of colors, the types of greens, very pastelish, very minty. I feel like that would just be so much fun with that peach and then the more pinky tones and the purpley tones to really darken up on the outer corner. And there is You Grow Girl is like a really, I think, intense multi-crumb if I remember correctly. It's launching the 15th um, for $48. I do have a Philly coat if you want to shop, but I really do like the color story. However, I don't think I'm going to be picking this up since I am still in the process of trying out Clarity Cosmetics last launch, The Evil Mermaid. And trying that, I have a little bit more experience with the brand. And I think overall my thoughts on her brand is that her mattes are really nice. Um, I want to continue and try it a couple more times before I give my official review. But her shimmers tend to be just very messy. And it tends to not be what I personally like. Like I like my shimmers to put up, go on my eyes and stay, stay in place. They're very beautiful. If you like just the sparkle and you want sparkle all over, then her brand is the way to go because her shimmers are the like some of the most sparkly most intense most gorgeous type of shimmers but they just travel a lot they have a lot of fallout that type of things but regardless of all that it is a very pretty palette i love the cover i love the color story i think it's very pretty and that multi chrome looks super super pretty all right next up we're going to talk about this new palette from be perfect cosmetics it's a collab with laura b mua i think the color story is intriguing and you know the, i, I kind of ignore the face part up here the face 
face palettes or the face products at the top. But the color story on the bottom row, like they have the colors in there. Sure, it's nice. I just really don't like how this palette is set up, like at all. I saw it and it was just kind of like, ugh. Like it just doesn't look that... I don't know, that nice visually, like looking at it, it just looks a little bit, I don't know, I'm just really off put by it. Anytime I see it, I'm just like, oh, pass, before I even like take time to look at the actual colors. So this palette just really didn't hit the mark for me. Um, yeah, there's some pops of colors, but it's heavy on the neutrals. It's got a lot, you know, for the face and cheek products that I'm not into. I like this bottom half, but I don't like how the palette looks and I'm just absolutely not intrigued. So this one's very short and to the point. I saw it and I was like, eh, nice. I, I know Be Perfect has a great formula. I've heard people rave about it and just talk so highly about it, but for me, easy pass. Oh my goodness, another launch that I'm super excited to share with you guys. So obviously this is going to my top five, but Blend Bunny Cosmetics is coming out with the Primal Palette and just look at this. It is beautiful. It's got the depth and saturation with that dark row in the middle. It's got really pretty looking shimmers. It's got the light colors to blend. It has a black and a white in it that I'm, I'm okay with. I, I don't necessarily feel like I need that much of a white or black, but when it comes to like artistry, which Blend Bunny, the owner, is like definitely a makeup artist. Like she does the, some of the most beautiful looks, some of those detail works, the most amazing blends. But I can I can see why they would want to have a large pan of a black and a white. But overall, I just can't get over how beautiful this is. And look at this packaging. Look at this. This is beautiful. Like this is display worthy. Absolutely. I do plan to pick this up if you can't tell. I do plan to pick this up and review it on my channel and it will definitely be going back here somewhere to display after I'm done because it's just so beautiful. I love the butterflies. I love the coloring. I love the animal print in the background. It's gorgeous. And here's a look at all the swatches of it. I, I will say the only kind of mm about the palette, but I'm going to like hold out judgment until I try it is that all the shimmers look pretty dark. Not very dark. You know, there's the yellow up there, but when we're looking at the green, and the purple and the blue and the, even the red, they have a lot of depth to them. Even the orange has a lot of depth to it. So I'll be curious to see what type of looks I can get. I've never tried her shimmers, so I'm really excited to try her shimmers. I've heard some people love them, some people hate them, but I do know I love her mattes, so I'm excited to see what type of looks I can create with this color story because it is beautiful. So yeah, definitely top five from this past week and definitely plan to pick it up if I can on launch day. All right, swinging back to my bottom five. This palette color story just kind of confused me. This is from Trixie Cosmetics and I believe it's a collab with Juno Birch, but this is the color story. And maybe it's just me that I'm not super into pastels and like washed out type of colors, but this I just saw and I was like, wow, I really am not intrigued. Like there's not a whole lot of saturation. All the colors look very, very light. I mean, I haven't tried the brand, so maybe they're incredibly pigmented and would create a lot of really pretty looks. But even if they, you know, the colors in the palette kind of show up and perform like the kind of swatches around the palette, I'm just not into this color story at all. I see it and it's just kind of a snooze fest for me. So yeah, this one, seeing it, like there's no inspiration for me or like there's no kind of excitement of like, ooh, I could put these colors together and create this really cool look. So for me, I just saw this and was just like, what is that? Interesting. Um, yeah, not into it at all. Did not hit the mark. And I was a little intrigued when they share that sneak peek over there of like a UFO type of theme for this palette. But uh, seeing the full palette, at least the promo pictures don't sell it for me. All right, top five. Let's talk about something that has definitely caught my eye and I'm really excited for. Ace Beauté is launching their Palettopoly collection and I am so intrigued. We know what the palette looks like now and we know some aspects of the game and they're uh, promoting it as some type of game that you can play as you do your makeup. And so like each time you use their palette and do your makeup, you get a different outcome and you don't like, it's like a game that you can play as you do your makeup, which is so intriguing. You guys know I love doing palette bingos on my channel, which is kind of like a game when you do your makeup, you just randomly select some colors and you have to work with them. So I am so intrigued, but they haven't shared the full launch just yet. So I'm not sure how the game is supposed to work, but I'm definitely excited to learn more. And I am super into this color story. I love those yellows. It kind of goes from like a bright yellow to more grunge. I love the grungy browns in there. Um, yeah, I'm super intrigued. I tend to really like Ace Beauté's new formula when it comes to their mattes and their shimmers. Really nice to work with. This hot pink looks fun, but I'm definitely intrigued to 
to see what the game is about the palette. So Ace Butte is sending this to me in PR, so I will definitely be doing a video on it whenever I get my hands on it and I'm allowed to share about it. So be on the lookout for that. But this is definitely top five because it's just the aspect of the game. I'm so intrigued. It's going to be such a fun video to film. I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I love uh, palette bingo. So if this is anything like that, that's going to make for a really fun video. So I am into it and I'm super excited. When is it launching? I don't think we know yet, but uh, more information coming soon. And like I said, I plan to do a video on my channel as soon as I am able to. But yeah, super neat, kind of out of the box thinking when it comes to Ace Butte and launching something new to promote it. And it looks like they're selling it in a game form. Like that'd be a lot of fun if you had a bunch of friends come over and, you know, do this game and everyone do your makeup together using the palette. I don't know. Sounds fun. Okay, let's talk about a bottom five. And this one's not so much bottom five but for the color story because I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm pretty into it. But this is ColourPop's new Bon Voyage. And I think it's supposed to be a collaboration or just a promotion of the BT21. I'm not really sure. I think it's a band. BT21. I don't know. I don't know what the collaboration is about. I just saw the color story in the packaging. I think the packaging is cute. I'm not super into it, but it's cute. But color story. You guys know that's where my eyes go. I don't think this is a bad color story. I will say it's just a little like, ugh, color prep, you almost did it, that they put that top row in there because they were so close to committing to a more colorful color story, even though they still have browns down here. Like I see those, those browns hanging out, Crunchy Squad and what is this one called? No Milk. They still have those browns and neutrals in there, but this whole row of like white, I mean, maybe they're more special shadows. I would hope that they have something special to them, but... That whole top row is kind of boring in comparison to the rest of it. But anyway, it's a nice array of colors. I like the fun packaging and I like the, you know, the pops of colors within all the neutrals. It's a very pretty color story. However, because I'm so excited about so many big palettes that are launching very, very soon that also have amazing color stories, I'm not going to be picking this up. So hence why I'm putting it in my bottom five, just because... Even if I didn't have a bunch of palettes I was about to pick up and review on my channel, I don't think I would pick this up. Just because I'm not the craziest fan of ColourPop, it is a very large palette, so it just takes longer to, you know, review. And as a whole, it's like, it's a nice color story, but I'm not sold on it. So it's overall an easy pass, hence why I'm putting it in my bottom five. Okay, top five. This is something that's literally launching in a couple hours, and I am like eyeing the time. But this is from Simply Posh Cosmetics, brand new brand to me. They're launching the Fairy Tale Fairies palette 18 shades, 12 mattes, six duochrome shimmers. It's gonna be available for pre order today at 3 p.m. CST. And like I said, I have my timer set because look at this palette. It's a bigger palette, but I I don't even care because when I look at this, I look at the cover, I'm just oh, all around sold on this palette. I love these greens down here. They're grungy, they're deep, they're beautiful. They range from like that grungy brown green to more lime green to more minty green, more like this deep blue green down here. And then it also has the pinks and the violets in there. I am curious and they have been sneaking this for a little while. I like the cover that they put together. I think it's very pretty. So. I don't know if you guys can hear the thunder, but there's a big thunderstorm going on in the background. So if it's picking up on my microphone, lots of thunder happening this afternoon. But anyway, it is very beautiful and I'm definitely planning to pick it up. So I'll put it here if I was able to pick it up because I don't know how, like I don't know anything about this brand. I'm very new to it. This is going to be my first time trying them. So I don't know if it's going to be like super cutthroat like Cosmic Brushes was to get the Serenity palette. I have no idea what to expect. So if I picked it up or if I was able to get it on pre-launch, I'll let you guys know. But I'm very much into this color story and I'm very curious to try this formula because just looking at them, looking at all the, like, the swatches that they shared on their page, like look at those shimmers, but you guys know, look at those mattes. It looks so pretty. I'm very excited, very hyped. So obviously top five for me from this past week. Okay, a new launch that also came out like hours after I, I recorded last week's Will I Buy It? But this is from Juvia's Place and this is the Garden of Juvia's. And it's like a pastel pastel neutral kind of combo. I don't know what to make of it. It's like overall very pastelish, but it's got a lot of dark shimmers in it or what appears to be deep shimmers. And uh, looking at it, it's very heavy on the shimmers, but it has those pastel pops of colors in there. And yeah, I was kind of intrigued. When I saw this, I was like, oh, that's gonna, that'll, that'll be fun to play with. And I'm sure it's gonna create a lot of really pretty looks. But the more I looked at it, the more I was like, no, I don't want to pick that up. Especially like as I count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's just seven mats, and they're all like all the mats are very, very light. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shimmers. And some of the shimmers are kind of close, like these purples over here, the more minty green blue. 
I don't know, when I really dissect the palette, I'm not interested at all. So that's why I'm putting in my bottom five because initially I was like, oh, that's really pretty. I think the cover looks really pretty. But the more I look into it, the more I'm like, eh, never mind. I do like that they came out with liquid liners, colorful liquid liners. I can foresee myself picking up a couple of those from like Ulta Beauty whenever it gets there, just because I like to have colorful liners to do fun things on my eyes with. But overall, the palette itself, while it really did grab my attention and kind of, I'm sure you guys heard that one and I'll have to see if my kids wake up. But it really did grab my attention and it, it kind of sold me initially. Like I was like, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna try that. But then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, no, I think I'm good. So hence why I'm putting in my bottom five, just because when I really looked at the palette, it was an easy pass for me. But let me know for you, do you, are you interested in this color story? Do you plan to pick this up? I know Juvie's Place is well loved by so many people. So let me know that down below in the comments. Okay, final top five. We are gonna talk about a new sneak peek from Playing and Makeup by Yolanda, and it is the Vigorously, I think it's called the Vigorously palette, Vigorously palette. This cover is very striking. Like it's it's very busy. It's got lots of colors, but it's very striking. And this inside, like look at this color story. This is a huge palette. It's a huge palette. I just finished reviewing another huge palette from them. The um the green palette, the color scheme pro 777 palette. And this is another big one. But look at all the colors. Look at all the possibilities. Like this is a palette that is so big. I almost feel overwhelmed looking at it. Like it's just like, oh my goodness, where would I start? But I see so many like reds and those greens and those purples, those deep greens. You got some blues in there. The shimmers as well. Like look at those shimmers. Beautiful like I could sit here and stare at this for so long and I mean the possibilities of the type of looks You can do with this palette seem endless just initially looking at this like I feel like you it never ending So trying playing a makeup by Yolanda I'm sure the quality is there when it comes to her shimmers and mattes She's just she does a great job when it comes to good pigmented matte shadows and really beautiful shimmers to work with that are just so smooth And so sparkly she does a great job. So if you're curious about my thoughts on like the quality I don't doubt the quality of this palette. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful gorgeous and just stunning, but I'm not going to pick it up. As much as I'm sitting here raving about it, I don't plan to pick it up and review it just because, like I said, I just finished reviewing a very large palette from her. I have a lot of bigger palettes coming in soon that we just talked about in the video. So as much as it hurts me to say, no, I'm not going to pick it up. I'm not going to review it. I am going to not review it. And like I said, I feel like I can speak to the quality of her products, trying her products in the past. I'm sure it's going to be great. So if you like the colors in here, if you feel like you could, you know, create endless looks and never repeat yourself, you know, looking at this color story, it's got a nice, uh, it looks heavier on the mattes than the shimmers. I haven't counted, but looks heavier on the mattes than the shimmers. It it looks like it's just all around a well done palette that if you like colors, like the tones that I like, you'll like this palette. And I think she also came out with, yeah, some liquid liners, which I am intrigued about. Again, liquid liners that are colorful. I'm intrigued. Maybe I'll pick them up the next time I place a playing a makeup by Yolanda order. But anyway, going on and on about this palette, it is beautiful. She did a great job. Once again, so pretty. I kind of feel like I wish I would have waited on buying that big palette, the green, the color scheme one. And I just picked this one up just because the colors, I mean, there's just so many colors, so many options. I feel like I would have had a lot of fun with this palette, but since I just reviewed that, I am gonna go ahead and pass on it as much as it hurts, but beautiful, beautiful palette, beautiful color story. All right, so there you have it for my top five, bottom five for this week. So many great palettes, like I was saying in the beginning, like let me know what you guys think, but I just couldn't get over. Every day I was checking out the new releases of the Instagram accounts that I follow and checking in on brands, and I was just like, man, this this Will I Buy this week is gonna be so good, so many good launches, and even ones that I'm not super interested in, and I put my bottom five, I still think are great launches for those brands. So let me know what you guys think down below. I always love it when you guys give me your feedback on new launches and also on new makeup that you want to see on my channel that always helps me out in deciding where to make purchases and where to maybe skip over purchases because as much as I like so many new palettes that come out I can't buy them all because I don't have the time and don't have the money but anyway I always appreciate you guys sounding off in the comments down below and letting me know your thoughts and thank you so much to everyone who tunes in for the live stream that I do oh I shouldn't say live stream the live premiere so I pre-record these videos I edit them together but then I jump in and chat with you guys on my phone as it premieres for the first time initially on Saturday so so if you are here for those or if you're ever able to catch them, I do appreciate you guys jumping on and chatting with me as it goes along. I really do appreciate it and just enjoy getting to chat with you guys as we watch the video together and hear your guys' initial you know, thoughts on each of the releases like in real time as I'm talking about it. So with all that said, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. And if you want to continue getting daily content from me, I'm over on Instagram, LadyKatie92 over there and I post reels, up close eye swatches, uh, up close eye pictures, uh, unbox 
unboxings and I try to do just some fun reels as well. If, if I can do a more comical reel that's related to makeup, I'll do it on there as well. So check me out over there if you want to. And with all that said, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.